the ABU Robocon, university students from the Asia-Pacific region use robots they've built to showcase their ideas and technological skills. This annual festival attracts many young engineers. This year's contest was held in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Cambodia was hosting the event for the first time. And this was the first live ABU Robocon in the four years since the start of the COVID pandemic. The venue was packed with people from Cambodia and elsewhere. The excitement and cheering voices of the participants echoed throughout the venue. Fourteen teams from around the world participated in the contest. Each team had achieved excellent results in local competitions. As they competed for victory, their robotics technology and pride were on full display. This is the pit area on the day before the contest. The students were making final adjustments to their robots. They were busy with preparations, assembling the robots, checking the field environment, and conducting test runs. But there were also moments like this. Students from Hong Kong showed students from Nepal the inner workings of their robot. Although they were competitors, they shared the same passion for robots. Relationships were being forged between participants. I am from Cambodia, and uh, we are the horse of uh, Robocon 2023. So oh, I'm really excited and I'm really waiting for uh, this for a long time. Yeah. It was quite exciting for us to visit uh, Cambodia as well as see other countries' uh, robots. While uh, it was online, it was not that fun because it's like a Zoom call, yeah. And we couldn't really see other uh, robots uh, in person. And uh, here we can better see their robots, their mechanisms, and how they how they work, how they operate. And that's quite a uh, big learning for us. Actually, we are very excited to see all other teams are competing here. We are very no we are nervous at some time, but we are also happy. And then we hope that we can get the top four. ここ、ここ、いや。できる限りこの環境に近づけられるように練習をこなしてきたんで、ま、例えばこの暑さであったりだとか、あの風が吹いてるような環境だったりっていうのをできる限り日本で再現して行っていたので、ま、それがなんか
Let's begin. First, the elephant robots collect rings and throw them at the poles. The rabbit robots collect rings in the center and aim for the poles. The robots can throw rings at the poles in the Angkor Center area. If both red and blue rings land on a pole, only the top ring will be counted. Rings on the Type 1 pole are worth 10 points. 30 points for the Type 2 pole. And 70 points for the Type 3 pole. A team can achieve Che Yo by landing the ring at the top of the poles in its area and the center area faster than their opponents. Then, victory is declared. Achieving Che Yo is the key to winning this game. Now, let's take a look at some of the teams that achieved excellent results and delighted the crowd. Here's the National Polytechnic Institute of Cambodia, this year's host country. Three, two, one, start! Both their elephant and rabbit robots had a solid start from the red zone. The elephant robot smoothly picks up the rings. Then it accurately throws the rings at the pole. Now it's the rabbit robot's turn. The Cambodian team achieved Cheyo by landing the top ring on the pole in the back. Next up is Vietnam's Hanoi University of Industry. Both the elephant and rabbit robots make a quick start. They fire a number of rings at the poles in rapid succession. What speed! They achieve Cheyo in just 21 seconds! Japan's Toyohashi University of Technology is a top-class contender in this tournament. Right away, the elephant robot fires three rings at once. They never let up and achieve Cheyo in just 20 seconds. University of Electronic Science and Technology of China achieved good results at last year's ABU Robocon in India. This time, they performed well in the quarterfinals. They achieved Cheyo in just 16 seconds, the fastest time this year. And now, the final round. Hong Kong, China. Two finalists are the Chinese University of Hong Kong and... Japan. Toyohashi University of Technology of Japan. Three, two, one, start! Hong Kong's biggest strength is their accurate injection function. When their opponent lands a ring on a pole, they can immediately land their ring on top of it. That's their strategy. Japan's team is using the same strategy. Therefore, the final round is not about speed, but about the two teams landing rings on top of one another back and forth. One minute and 40 seconds later, there's a slight delay in Hong Kong's movements. Taking advantage of this golden opportunity, Japan continues to fire rings and finally achieves Cheyo! Japan is 
the champion. It's not yet. After the heated match, the Hong Kong and Japanese students shook hands, stood shoulder to shoulder, and congratulated each other on their efforts. To cap off this exciting day, the awards ceremony. Toyohashi University of Technology of Japan wins the Grand Prix. Once again, congratulations to Japan! The first runner-up is the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Once again, the second runners-up are the University of Electronic Science and Technology of China and Vietnam's Hanoi University of Industry. The Best Idea Award goes to the University of Electronic Science and Technology of China. Hanoi University of Industry takes the Best Engineering Award. The Best Design Award goes to the Chinese University of Hong Kong. And there were special awards as well. The Panasonic Connect Award goes to the Institute of Technology of Cambodia. National Polytechnic Institute of Cambodia wins the Toyota Award. And the Mabuchi Motor Award goes to Tribuvan University of Nepal. The Nagase Award, Mongolian University of Science and Technology. The Rome Award, University Technology Malaysia. The Tokyo Electron Award, Alexandria University of Egypt. The SMC Corporation Award, Gujarat Technological University of India. Finally, the most prestigious award of all, the ABU Robocon Award. It goes to the champion team, Toyohashi University of Technology. to Team Japan! heated competition, the tension ebbs away and the students once again appear relaxed. Time for a delicious dinner! Teams from different countries share a table and chat. Introductions are made and cards are exchanged. The following day, They gather again at the venue for a friendship exchange program. It's a great chance to get an up-close look at the winning robots. Students pepper each other with questions and the momentum never lets up. Generate graphs. Ah, uh, all of yeah. Yes. Uh, which algorithm <laughs> generate the graphs? Oh, uh, because we are we are lazy. Then it was time for a tour of Phnom Penh. <laughs> to explore the history and culture of Cambodia. <laughs> then
then to celebrate the last night in Phnom Penh. Everybody dance! Regardless of nationality, age, or gender, the young engineers with a shared passion for robots form a joyous circle. Next year's ABU Robocon 2024 will be held in Halong Bay, Quang Ninh Province, Vietnam. The theme is Harvest Day, and this time robots will take on the challenge of planting and harvesting rice. What will happen in Vietnam? Join us and find out!